Hey, what's going on everyone? So in this video tutorial, I will show you guys probably the, the easy, easiest way to set up your Wi-Fi and Ethernet on your Raspberry Pi. So recently I've been doing some research on uh, what other people have done on uh, setting up their Wi-Fi and uh, I found a bunch of ways that like there are so many different versions that it can be a little confusing if you're a first timer. Like on this one, uh, this guy, uh, he actually changed like four different files. So not only he changed the interfaces file, and he also changed the uh, WA supplicant, he changed the RC loco, and he also ch uh, messed with the power management. And I, I've tried all of these uh, methods, uh, more, um, not, to, not only this one, but it didn't work for me for some reason. Maybe I'm using the latest uh, distro. Yeah, by the way, I'm using the 2013, February 09, 2013 Weezy Raspin image. So, um, not, so some that store on, on YouTube, like they have uh, pre built uh, uh, drivers, uh, th like you can't use those anymore. It's, it's outdated. It's outdated. So, I, f I figure out the best way to do this is uh, by using a uh, a method that I did back on with my panda board, which is just very straightforward. Just change one file, and then, then everything's good. So let's get uh, get going. So first thing you want to do is to make sure your system up to date. So do sudo app get update, update, and then followed by upgrade. Okay. So I'm I'm not going to do that because my system is up to uh, update, and after that you do upgrade. So okay. So now I assume that your system is um, up to date. Um, we can do. Uh, we can go ahead and, and change the directory to the network directory here. Okay. So the file we want to change is the interfaces one. Before you do anything, make sure you have a backup copy, like I like I have done so. So I make a backup always before I change my file, just in case you need to go back. So do sudo nano interfaces um, let's not do uh, nano yet let's do cat because we want to do something else before that so here I have a uh, all my configuration set up you should just copy this straight up so the first part is for your Ethernet and the second part is for your Wi-Fi and these are the parameters for the WPA protocol notice that I have my uh, this parameter is the encryption type. You can change your to your specific encryption type. Uh, it doesn't have to be T TKIP. Okay. If you don't know your encryption type or your protocol, uh, internet protocol, then go ahead and click on this, right, on your Wi-Fi thing and your network, and click on the properties. Okay, and it'll show you everything you need to know. If you're still confused about this, you can go back and uh, look at my Panda board Wi-Fi setup, and it's basically er it's everything the same except for I did not have the Ethernet con um, configuration up here. Okay. So now we need, okay. So you already have your SSID, I assume, and then now we need to generate our uh, hex code. This is a dummy text code that I put in. So now I'm gonna. Uh, show you how to generate your hex code. So the function, the command it uses WPA passphrase and this in this uh, new uh, Weezy uh, distro they already have this install so you don't need to worry about installing the WPA supplicant package. So put in your SSID my is broken sword and then your passphrase um, my pass Okay, this is uh, just uh, my dummy passphrase. It's not my actual passphrase. Oops. Uh, okay, now now that you press enter, it's gonna give you the hex code that you need. So go ahead and copy that. Control C. Now we can go back through our uh, interfaces. Uh, sudo nano interfaces. Then we go here, delete the previous one. Um, 
and then you just paste it, right? And then control O and then press enter and control X exit. Uh, to make things easier, I'm gonna post that uh, config this configuration file to the description box, so you can just copy and paste that. Okay, now at this point you're done. Basically, all you need to do is reset now, reset your uh, Raspberry Pi, and once you reset it, you can go ahead and um, um, if you don't know what which IP is connected to, uh, then go ahead and look up your router. And my router is a uh, it shows the uh, like the IP address that, and then the connection type. So once you know your IP address, you can just SSH into uh, your Raspberry Pi using uh, Putty. Pretty straightforward uh, at this point. And uh, just uh, by the way, I'm using this uh, this um, Wi-Fi dongle. It's ten dollars, uh, which is kind of I don't know in mid range. But I I uh, read some uh, went over some forum and they say like basically this this uh, Wi-Fi dongle basically used the same chipset as this one on eBay, the Realtek one. But this one sells for four dollars and seventy five. And if you're gonna build like a cluster of Raspberry Pi, then you start you need to start thinking about costs here. So I'm thinking about getting like a few of these and just test it out. I haven't tested this one out yet, but I have tested on a, a Panda a Wi-Fi, uh, a, the I have tests on the uh, different one, and it basically work on uh, this this method works on basically almost all the uh, the, the Wi-Fi dongles that I have. So it's pretty generic. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else I need to talk about? Okay. So yeah. So, uh, I think that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Please uh, comment, subscribe, or whatever. Just uh, let me know what you think about this uh, method. Does it work for you? Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time.